I'm going to build a drop down dashboard element with multiple sources which is going to be dynamic. Let's get started. Okay, let's build that dynamic drop down with multiple sources. What I got today is three simple Excel tables, including some sample sales data. The first column is the product ID. The second column is the month of the sales and the actual sales value. And today I want to build a dashboard element, which is going to summarize the sales value based on a selected item from a drop down. So first I'm going to create the formula, which will summarize my sales value. And I'm going to use the sum if s function. The first thing I need to do is to select the actual function. The first argument is the sum range. I'm going to select the sales column from the table one comma. So the first criteria range and the only one this time is the product one comma. And the actual criteria is going to be the value from my drop down. Then I close the brackets and I hit enter. And you could easily say that, okay, this is going to summarize only the value from the table one. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to select the entire formula. I copy it, I hit the plus icon, and I simply just repeat the process for all three tables. So I basically, I sum up the values from each table. And I just need to change the name of the tables in my formula. So that's gonna be the table two. And the last one is going to be the table three. Once I'm done, I just simply hit enter. Then I can start building my dynamic dropdown. And in order to create that multiple sources dropdown, I will need to use a helper column. You can either use on the same sheet and hide it, or you can use another sheet. I'm going to use use a second sheet this time and the formula I'm going to use today is the vstack function. I double click on the function then I head over to my original sheet where I have my source tables and I select the first column but only the product items from the table. If you look at the reference it showed me only the table one product ID that means I selected only the column and the header is not included. Then I hit comma and I do the same on the second table, comma again and the same on the third table. I close the brackets and I hit enter. And voila! As you see, this dynamic array function stacked over vertically the column values in a range. And the next thing I need to do is just to simply the column A where I have the dynamic range I created. Then I go to the formulas tab and I select name manager. I hit new and I'm going to name my dynamic range. Let's call it dynamic product ID. And I simply just hit okay. And here we go. I created my named range with my name manager. I close the window. I can hide this sheet. Then I head over back to the cell where I want to create that drop down. I go to the data tab. I hit data validation. From the options, I simply just select list. And the source is going to be like this equal indirect open brackets double quotes I paste the name of the range I just created double quotes again and I close the formula then I simply just hit ok and voila my multiple sources drop down has been created by this new formula and as you see I don't have any duplicates because that's a built-in feature already in the new drop down that it is going to pull only the unique values the other cool thing about the new drop down feature is that it's searchable you can just simply start typing the name of the value you're looking for and you can select from the drop down and as you see I'm selecting the values from the drop down and my sum if s function is working but it's not the end yet as I said it's gonna be dynamic so let's test it if I go to the first table and I start typing a new value to my table and I hit enter let's add the new month let's say April a value I hit enter, then I go back to my drop down, I open it and here we go, I got my new value what I added to my product table. One more thing, if you go back to the original dynamic range you created and you would like to sort it, then you just simply start adding a new function before the vstack and it's called the sort function. The array is going to be the original formula, after then I just hit comma, the sort index is gonna be 1, sort order also 1, I close the brackets and I hit ok. And here we go, it sorted my data in an ascending order, I head back to my data validation list, I open it up and as you see it has been updated as well by the formula. Let me know in the comment how do you like this solution.